Hi viewers, I am Nadeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to the Faruq Academy. Today we will discuss chapter number six, exercise six G, book D three, applications of mathematics in practical situations. Question number one. So please read the statement. The amount value of a property is dollar twelve thousand three hundred, and time period is. Find the property tax payable for a period that is time period is eight month at the rate of sixteen percent. Okay, first of all you have to write the data. That is property value is uh, property value is equal to dollar uh, twelve thousand three hundred and uh, time period is time period is eight month. Uh, that is equal to eight divided by twelve, so you will get two by three years. So I have converted into years. So rate of tax sixteen percent. Uh, rate of tax is equal to sixteen percent, and tax payable is equal to property. We have a formula. Property multiply by time multiply by rate. So twelve thousand three hundred multiply by two by three multiply by sixteen by hundred. Sixteen percent mean sixteen by hundred. So after simplification, you will get dollar one three one two. One thousand three hundred and twelve is the amount that is your required result. Similarly, if you read the statement of question number two, how much does a customer have to pay for an article costing dollar two forty with five percent GST imposed on it? GST, general sale tax. Okay, now coming to the question number two. Uh, cost of article is equal to dollar two forty. Five uh, percent of cost. That is your rate of GST. General sale tax. So we have to find only GST. Since what is the formula of GST? GST actually cost multiply by rate. So cost is two forty multiply by rate five by hundred five percent. So dollar twelve is your GST. But customer will pay. How much customer will pay? So therefore, Is equal to two forty plus twelve is equal to dollar two hundred fifty two. So customer will have to pay two hundred fifty two dollar. So that is your required result. So hence the customer payment we have calculated here. So now coming to the question number three. In your textbook, an article is. Advertised for dollar one hundred sixty nine point ninety five, inclusive of five percent GST. Find the original price. Okay. Question number three. Find the original price. Uh, suppose original price is. Suppose original. Original price is dollar X. GST five percent of X of the original price, so it will become five X by hundred after simplification, and after further simplification, you will get X by twenty. So it is your GST. 
so by given condition if we read the statement once again so by uh, given condition we have to write the equation as is equal to 169.95 because it is your GST and the original price so taking LCM 169.95 using cross multiplication you will get uh, 3399 so the value of x is because this 20 is multiplied with this you will get this you need the value of x but we don't have enough space here okay you will see here uh, therefore the value of x is 3399 divided by 21 so the value of x is after using calculator you will get uh, 161.86 so that is your original price so coming to the question number 4 question number 4 read the statement find the income tax of a tax Payer if his chargeable income is number A dollar twenty five thousand four hundred B dollar thirty eight thousand four hundred C dollar seventy two thousand four hundred and D dollar one zero five thousand. So uh, we have to calculate uh, now question number four. write the data uh, in case of a part that is dollar uh, 25,400 so on first dollar 20,000 on first dollar 20,000 tax payable is zero tax payable is zero on next dollar on next dollar five thousand four hundred tax rate is four percent therefore tax payable is equal to 4 by 100 4 percent we have to simplify and 5400 so you will get dollar 260 is your required result similarly uh, in B part Now we have dollar thirty eight thousand four hundred. So from the table chargeable income thirty thousand tax is equal to dollar 400 on next dollar 8400 tax will be 6% so therefore tax payable so multiply this you will get dollar 500 Zero 04 so total tax payable will be 504 just we have calculated and plus 400 tax is you can see here 400 is tax but on next dollar 8400 how much it is 6% so we have calculated so added so the total tax payable will be 
equal to dollar nine hundred four your required result now similarly uh, in next part dollar seventy two thousand four hundred so uh, similarly from the table we see because the table is given in your textbook 6.2 table so you can see in your textbook because uh, you can see here is your textbook and reference is given that you can see table refer 6.2 So from the table, chargeable income, is equal to 40,000, tax is equal to dollar 1000. So on next, dollar thirty two thousand four hundred tax rate is nine percent so therefore tax payable will be nine percent mean nine by hundred multiply by thirty two thousand four hundred you will get two thousand nine hundred sixty so the tax is thousand and on next thirty two thousand four hundred tax is nine percent and this amount is uh, dollar two thousand nine hundred sixteen. So the total uh, tax payable will be therefore total tax payable will be thousand plus two thousand nine hundred sixteen. You will get dollar three thousand nine hundred and sixteen so that is your required amount that is tax to be paid so in this way first of all you have to find the tax on uh, next payable amount then the payable tax calculated and it should be added to the tax which is already imposed so both the uh, taxes are added so it will give the total tax payable so that is dollar three thousand nine hundred and sixteen so that is your required result so uh, I hope that uh, this exercise uh, is helpful to you uh, for your better understanding so uh, I have tried my best to simplify it in a simplest way so I hope that it will be very much helpful to you. So thanks a lot. Uh, thank you for watching.